Hi, my name is John Marsden from OnlineComputerBackup.eu. Today I'm going to take a look at Carbonite, the online uh, computer data backup application. From my experience, Carbonite is one of the simplest online backup applications to set up and is by far the easiest to operate, even though it has loads of features. So let's take a look so you can see for yourself. Either click on the Start Your Free Trial button, or if you're ready to subscribe, click on the Buy Now tab and you'll be taken to the account sign up page. Enter your email address and chosen password and then choose either a one year or a two year subscription. You save 9.55 by operating for a two year subscription. Click continue and the application download will begin. On the next screen, click install now. Once the installation starts, click accept to continue. On this screen you get the option to configure advanced setup options. Just click next as these can all be configured later. Here you get the option to let Carbonite select what you back up or to choose manually to configure the backup set later. I prefer to select my own backup set as Carbonite sometimes chooses files from within document settings that I don't want to be backed up. Either way the selection can easily be changed later. Now you get a couple of screens that tell you a little bit about the Carbonite app. Just click next. Right, now that we have Carbonite set up, let's take a closer look. Once the installation is complete you'll see a little Carbonite icon down in the tray down here. Uh, if you double click that icon you'll get uh, the uh, option screen come up. Now if you uh, selected to let Carbonite automatically select your files during the installation you'll see that there's a progress bar here uh, telling you how far it's got with that initial backup. Now depending on how many how much uh, gigabytes worth of data you've got to back up this initial backup can take quite a while. Uh, typically ADSL and other high speed internet connections will back up between two and three gigabytes today so you just have to be a little bit patient. Once the, uh, into the backup, initial backup is complete you'll see that the, the little tray icon turns green. Now in this box you've also got some other options. You can obviously see the backup status and the restore status and you can also set your backup options. Now display colored uh, status dots in any of my files or folders. This is quite handy. It basically within Windows Explorer any files or folders you've selected to be backed up you'll see once they're backed up and they're uh, up to date uh, the little dot will turn green otherwise it'll be orange. Uh, you can set the internet usage to low priority. This is handy if you're using uh, voice over IP applications like Skype, etc. Because uh, sometimes it can interfere with that. So if you, if you do, set it to low priority. Now if you're doing a major recovery, it will uh, pays to put Carbonite into a recovery mode. This basically stops any backups taking place. Otherwise you could find yourself going around in circles. You can also operate the, alter the backup schedule here. Uh, now, normally it's recommended to leave it on backup automatically. Now this backs up your files um, as you're working on them um, or you can do a uh, backup of once a day and you can also set when you don't want it to be uh, backed up. You can also uh, create your own backup schedule so you can set which days of the week um, and what time of day to back up. Now let's take a quick look at how we select uh, files and folders to be backed up. Basically go to Windows Explorer, go to any file or file or folder you want to be backed up, right click, go to Carbonite and select back this up. As soon as the file or folder is backed up you'll get a little green dot saying I've been backed up. Now any changes you make to any of these files will be replicated up to your uh, backup server uh, as they're completed. Within Windows Explorer you'll also see that Carbonite has installed uh, a Carbonite backup drive. Now this is basically a virtual view of everything that's been backed up, pending backup, uh, that's on, on the backup server. So this is, where, this is where we restore files. From here you can see this is what the files that are currently on the backup server. Now to restore a file or a folder uh, you simply again right click and you get some options. You can select restore, we select restore to to uh, change the path where the files can be restored to. You can also select previous versions if you've got more than one version or you can simply drag and drop. File restored. Okay so let's take a quick look at how you can access your backed up files from anywhere using the uh, Carbonite web interface. From your user account, click on the remote access link in the top right hand corner. This will take you to an explorer style view of all your files on the backup server. Now to open or download any of your files, simply click, click on the file you want and away you go. Right, I think that just about covers everything. As you can see, Carbonite has a lot of great features and is very simple to use. From all the re reviews I've completed, Carbonite is by far the simplest online backup application to use. 
In my opinion, if you're looking for an easy to use online data backup program with loads of features and need to be able to access your files from anywhere, then you won't go wrong with Carbonite. But you could also check out our other online computer backup reviews at www.onlinecomputerbackup.eu. You can check out Carbonite for yourself by visiting www.onlinecomputerbackup.eu forward slash go forward slash Carbonite.